Hello and welcome to Drybox. In today's video we are going to announce our new product, the Drybox Play On. So this is the Drybox Play On. It features a 5 inch touch screen, so you can use it like this. It features 2 gig of RAM and 32 gig of storage. It comes with a number of applications already installed such as BBC News, web browsing, book reading, Play Store, Kodi, and Twitter and YouTube. There's also space for games to install and emulators if you like that sort of thing. So first of all we'll show you a few of the games that you can play on the handheld. By default it supports Xbox 360 and PlayStation input. So all you need to do is just basically load the game up and the majority of games should just work. So here's Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which runs very well. And this is at the highest graphic, graphic settings as well. You can also use the touch screen if you wish to. So you can play with the joystick and the touch screen. Right, the second game we will, we will be trying is The Bar's Tell, which is a pretty big game. It's around 4.5 gigs. Thanks to the 32 gig storage on the Joybox Play, this is no problem. Again, the controls just work as standard, so you can pick the Xbox or 360 buttons on here, and that works. You can remap them by pressing this button here and it brings up a screen there and you can remap any of the touchscreen controls to the actual physical buttons so you just place that there and then save and then you can move your character around and you can see the representation there the next game we will be showing is Need for Speed on the Android you can configure the buttons how you like either using the in-game settings so you can use the controller or you can set up touchscreen controls personally I prefer the Xbox settings as you can see the, the controls are really responsive and um, another thing to note as well this is quite a graphically intense game and it runs this no problem next up is the emulators that come installed on there there are no actual games on there, you need to install them yourself. This one is FIFA 97 for the Super Nintendo. Again, all their buttons are configurable, um, but they work straight away, so you don't need to do anything unless you want to change something yourself. Okay, another Super Nintendo game that's a really popular game is Super Bomberman. Again, this works perfectly fine. Um, other emulators include Arcade, so there's emulators like Final Burn, uh, Wonder Swan, Game Boy Advance, PlayStation Portable, and many more. One of the other features is of course Kodi. There's an install by default, um, you can use this to watch all your favourite video listen to music, any photographs you have. You can also install all of your favourite add-ons. By default this uses a Wi-Fi connection so you can tether it to your mobile phone and use like a 4G data connection if you want to stream anything. So amongst the other features is you can also connect the Drybox Play On to a HDMI connection in the back and that can go to your TV or monitor. So if you want to play any games or watch films on a big screen, you can do so. Um, as we mentioned already, there's 32 gig of storage. The battery life is actually really good for handheld. Um, we've had it running for about 27 hours and we're down to 36%. Obviously, that's not full usage, but you get a general idea. Um, at full usage, we're expecting up to around 10 hours, depending on what you're using it for. Uh, other settings on there, it's got parental controls, 
you can connect game pads via the USB in the back. Uh, there's video management. There's also a handy video guide which quickly shows you how to use the device. So the actual buttons, we go, go over all of these now. You get two analog sticks, the D pad, buttons here, you've got start and select. On the reverse side, I'll show you in a moment. There's uh, four buttons for shoulder buttons. You've also got two additional buttons here. You've got volume up and down. This is your power button. And there's also a task manager. And what we showed earlier is the touch screen. So do your controls. The material is plastic. So it keeps it nice and light. But it also feels good in your hand. So you don't get hand cramp if you're playing for too long. Um, here is the hinge. So it flips down into a clamshell design. Back open again. I'll just quickly show you the back. So you have the four shoulder buttons here. There's also the HDMI port, the headphone port, USB port for charging, and SD card slot for expansion. So I'll just quickly show you this, the display. It's a five inch IPS capacitive touchscreen. So you don't even need to press the buttons. You can just tap any of these. Everything works just like how it would on your, your phone or tablet. And it can also be laid fully back. And there's like a few angles that lock into place. So if you want to read in bed or anything or watch a film, find the most comfortable angle. So I've been playing with the Joybox Play On for a few days now. Uh, the battery in life especially really impressed me. Um, you find with some handles where the batteries last a few hours. I've got about 10 hours out of this um, with general usage. So that's a bit of emulation, movie watching and so on. Um, I'm a bit of a retro fan. So I love the emulation on there, especially the Super Nintendo and arcade emulators. Um, the applications that come with it are really handy as well, so you have things like BBC News, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and so on. Um, you can get stuck straight into those as soon as you switch it on. Um, for gaming, this is where it really excels. Um, it's really powerful, so um, it's compatible with like the higher end mobile phones. Um, things like Bars Cell especially, they take up a lot of space. So when you've got 32 gig of storage, um, obviously it's only about 4 gigs, so you can fit quite a lot of games and music, videos, games for the emulators as well. Um, anything else I could think of? The price itself is something that really got my interest. So it's compatible with other handhelds. Um, it's definitely worth it. Um, just because you have a lot more, it's not just for the games. You can do movies emulation you've got all your social media as well so that's the end of my summary of the joybox play on i hope you enjoyed watching the video don't forget you can start ordering now on our website at joybox.co.uk thanks and goodbye